Okay, it is time to let out the Willis watchdogs. Okay, one of the few people to predict the subprime mortgage crisis now has a plan to fix the unemployment crisis. Robert Schiller says we should do what we did during the Great Depression. Have the government do the hiring themselves. So let's bring in our panel. Connie DeGroot is a real estate agent in Los Angeles. Aaron Task is with Yahoo Tech Ticker. And Fox Business's very own Sandra Smith joins us now. Sandra, is Robert Schiller crazy? I'm sorry, but this is just not the way to do this. And I, we just got a battle in the green room over this. But no, Jerry, this is not the way to create jobs in this country, to get the government more involved. $787 billion into the Recovery Act. We can barely even speak of jobs that have be, been created. This is not the way to do it. Extend the Bush tax cuts, create jobs organically, stimulate small businesses, ex, extend lending. But let's not put money, have the government have more control. Aaron, do you disagree? I do disagree because. I think it'd be better to spend the $787 billion on putting people to work than the way the money was spent. I mean, we can disagree whether or not the government should spend money or not in a big downturn, but they spent the money, they just spent it really poorly. I would rather have the government pay people to go to work than pay them to not work. And we've extended unemployment benefits, I think it's seven times now in the last two years. Yeah, there's a lot. And you're of not, that. we're not giving an incentive for people to go to work. At least if the government is spending this money, mm. let's get something out of it as a society. All right, Connie, you need to break the tie here. <laughs> Ah, good, good, good. Well, I agree with Sandra, so the tie is broken. Yeah. Um, I, the, the, <laughs> okay, the government is very inefficient. If there's anything we've all learned, it's that you don't want to give government more to do. I think that the private sector, I mean, there will be more jobs if there's more demand, if this economy starts churning forward, if there's, you know, I mean, and it will happen naturally. And I don't think that just giving, I mean, let's, that, in that report, it said Robert Schiller suggested that a million people could be employed. Well, what are they? going to do and won't they need to be trained to are there a million sister. jobs give me a break i know well you know we had one economist on who said that we should have people dig holes and then move the ground to another place and dig another uh. hole and That's then dig it like nothing. Nice. Do nothing will just give them money. Makes no sense. So they can build parks, they can plant trees, no, right. they can build bridges, they can build roads. I mean, our infrastructure in this country is, is collapsing. Let's hire people who are out so of work. Build bridges so that we can have people who can't afford cars or the gas to put in those cars so drive if you over. Put them? people to work, they'll have some money in their pocket to buy a car, pay for gas, maybe go out to dinner. Awesome. It spurs economic you know, activity. You and hopefully get, the private sector you, you recovers. Don't just you don't, you don't just do things overnight. It takes a long time. And remember the sure. shovel ready project, uh, projects? Uh, they so weren't much. ready overnight. So I agree with that. No, they no. So all right, okay, you know, we have to do misspent. some other stories, okay? <laughs> I love that, though. All right, questions about your home or the housing market. Would you turn to Fannie Mae for advice? Well, they've launched a website called knowyouroptions.com. Connie, you going to be going to that website, sending your clients there for a little advice? From the government? Uh, you know what? For, for a joke, yes, for a joke. Look, I think a lot of people, there's no option. I mean, they can't stay in their house there or they can't purchase a home. They do not qualify. They do not qualify. Right. So that's the big problem. And so they can read this. And I, I mean, hey, there's going to be some good information, regulations, new regulations. There's always new regulations that people can look at. So I'm all for that. But it's really not going to help a lot of people. Aaron? So. Well, I think any information is good information. And if anybody should know all the changes in the rules, it should be the government and they run Fannie Mae. It is a little sickening. It's that irony. This, it's, it's irony. Thank you. That's a better word. It's Fannie Mae. I mean, they yeah. collapsed. They crushed the real estate market. And now they're trying to tell, help us out. But there is some decent information on that. Side. And the, it collected $75 billion in bailout funds. So it's easy to laugh of at this. Of my money. Of our, our money. money. I will tell you this, though, Jerry. I went to the website. There's a very pleasant woman who interacts with you. You go through a questionnaire. It does, I will side with you on this, Aaron, that they do tell you your options. That's right. 1.6 million foreclosure filings in the first half of this year alone. Right. There's people that are in distressed properties right now. They don't know what to do. It's good to have a website, regardless of who's putting it out there, that people can go to to see what their options are. Staying in their home, what they can do to get out of their home. And that woman on the website, she got a job from the government to do the, <laughs> to do the website. So it's, it's oh, good stuff. Oh, you yeah. can just buy my real estate book. Okay, <laughs> right. oh, all right. Yeah, well, even better. there's another oh story. This is one of my...